So uh, how do workouts go? It went well, man. It was awesome. You know, not really a hometown kid, but I'm from Virginia. So having the opportunity to come in here and uh, work out in front of this, you know, coaching staff, you know, front office, um, especially for a great team, you know, and uh, do pretty well, you know, in my mind, just a blessing from God. So, you know, when you first came into UNC, you, right. know, you were losing potential. You still are losing potential. Right. And you were considered a lottery player. Right, right, right. After staying here a few years in right. UNC, you kind of slipped down to the second right. round. So do you feel that people are kind of overlooking you? Um, you know, definitely. It's something that, you know, I realize, you know, by the end of the day, it's going to be their loss. You know, I'm going to come in here and just work my butt off, you know, each and every day and every drill, every opportunity I get. You know, and um, hopefully I can have the opportunity, you know, to, you know, take my next step in the NBA and get with a coaching staff in the off front office, you know, and a team that can help me to continue to develop my game and, you know, go from there. What have you been working on the most over this before right. the drafts? Um, really just trying to be solid. I feel like at Carolina, you know, I did a lot of things pretty well. Um, but really, you know, coming to the next level, I realized that, you know, I'm going to have to be able to do a couple of things, you know, really, really well, you know, whether that's, you know, being able to catch it. Um, make an open jump shot, you know, attack the rim strong and finish, and then on the defensive end, um, be able to guard and not just, you know, match up with a guy, but be able to get stops. What's the best bit of advice that you got from one of your UNC alums? Um, you know, just take every day, you know, um, don't take every day for granted. You know, having the opportunity to go through this process, you know, it's tough, you know, traveling some from every city, you know, the different workouts, meeting so many different people, um, it can really wear on you. But at the end of the day, I'm living my dream right now, you know, just having the opportunity to, you know, put on this, you know, workout uniform and go out there um, and play the game I love. What role do you see yourself playing with the Wizards as they select you? Um, you know, just being definitely a guy that can come in, be a great role player, and, you know, really just find my um, niche in the offense. You know, I love to run, you know, the Wizards, you know, John Wall, Brad Bill, crazy good, um, you know, backcourt, you know, so definitely just come in and be able to just, um, play with such great talent, you know, a team that's already proven himself in the playoffs and hopefully just help them take that next step in the right direction. Do you have any thoughts on the recent academic allegations against the UNC? <laughs> I went to class, you know, I, I went to class, you know, I'm 35 hours from getting my degree. Um, you know, it's tough, you know, when you see stuff like that, um, you know, especially, you know, not just for other basketball players that graduated from UNC, but, you know, other athletes, you know, that kind of puts a bad, um, you know, mark on them. But at the end of the day, we all realize, you know, um, you know, that we all earned our degree there. So.